So I would call on your listeners to get educated about this terrible subject. I I wish I didn't know about it, but now that I do, you know, I we need to stand up for the children. I've heard them screaming for their parents. I've I've watched these children have panic attacks, children who had to be put on suicide watch. They need our help. They're in crisis. And now 85,000 are gone. That's what HHS will admit to, 85,000 that they've just lost contact with. You know, they just don't know what, ha- they just don't know what happened to them. You know? Yeah. And my question would be, is why will they not turn over the list of who the sponsors are? Mm. Right? That would make sense. I mean, Jamie, if you were a sponsor and then suddenly the child that you sponsored has disappeared, well, why aren't we asking you, where is the child who we sent to your address, Jamie? Where are they? But they won't do that. They will not release the list of names. And they claim the reason they won't do that is because most of the sponsors don't have legal presence. So they're not U.S. citizens and they're not a permanent resident, nor do they have a visa. So they they value the anonymity of the sponsor over the safety of the child. So Mm -hmm. if you were here illegally, Jamie, they would think that your right to be here illegally is more valuable than the safety of the child. So they wouldn't turn your name over to law enforcement saying, hey, we gave a child to Jamie and and he can't account for the child that we gave. They'll never do that. So you're home free. Children sacrificed on the altar of political correctness. 